If someone were to ask you, what is the single most positive contribution you've made to humanity? What might that be? It's a real pithy question. I know. And, and at I, your age, I, it's a little heavy. You've I done mean, a lot already. Yes, yeah. It's like, uh, you know, one of my favorite comedians was you know, uh, talking about millennials and, and heard them talking about how, overheard a conversation talking about how great they were. It's like, you're amazing. You're amazing. And it's, he was thinking to himself, what have you done? You're just so amazing. You're 20 something. Right. And I often think that to myself is mm -hmm. like, if you think you've done something great, just zoom out by like, five feet you know and you'll see how big the world is and yeah, then that's great. Yeah. how small the world is compared to even everything else mm -hmm. so I try not to dwell on anything that i feel like is is an actual accomplishment i think that that self-satisfaction is actually one of the, the enemies of creativity mm -hmm. that um and we've seen this with so many great artists when they've accomplished something that they think is great they have a hard time doing what's next and, that's very and true. yeah and creativity and art is all about what's next whether people have a great experience with your whatever that day is irrelevant to what you're able to produce next. And if you're not able to produce something next, you're no longer creative. And so for me, I try never to even identify. It's important to learn from your successes along with your, mm -hmm. your failures. But it's important not to dwell on, on well, either. There's a lot more one-hit wonders than there are 30, 40-year musical careers yes. where they... You know, we can name several real quick, Elton John, I know that's not orchestral, but I mean, you know, these characters, if you will, or personalities that like transcend generational. Yes. The people that often transcend something are the ones who either find success and then adapt themselves so that they are a growing human being mm -hmm. or the ones that never find success yeah. and keep being themselves because they don't care. And mm -hmm. then another generation figures it out. Right. You know, like Schubert is a great example. Uh, it, it, of somebody who never achieved really the success that was due to him, but he just kept putting out more and more music and, and getting better at it. And shortly after he died, everybody said, oh, whoa, we missed the boat on that one. Mm -hmm. But then you look at somebody like David Bowie, who did have success. Oh, yeah, that's a good and example. And he just kept changing. So David Bowie never became one David Bowie. He adapted and changed. And uh, one of the people I, I often say is like that in, in our world, the orchestral world, was Igor Stravinsky, mm -hmm. who had great success in his early 30s with, with major works that the all rage I and mean, Bowie level success. But he wasn't content. As soon as he had those three super premieres, he started becoming a different Stravinsky and kept changing his entire life. He never just said, I had written these you know, masterpiece, I can live off the royalties. He just kept reinventing himself. Mm -hmm.